So what was you on probation for? I had to do a chair at my teacher. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. So this is before the Montgomery. This is before the uh, the brawl in Alabama. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. this is this oh, is. it's crazy because so, it was a fold up chair. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. So you were doing a fold up chair before the fold up chair. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. Why did you throw a chair at your teacher? Um. Okay. So first of all, real quick. So I'm gonna ask. Right. Um. Did anything ever happen to you when you was younger? Um, like any type of sexual assault or yeah, anything like that? Yeah, it did. What happened? Um, okay, so she's making, you know, five, six hundred bucks a day at one point. Yeah, what was you doing with that money? Um, you can't hide from it. You can't run from it. You can't do enough drugs, alcohol to cover it up. I, I can tell you that right now. So let's try to figure this out. What? Where's the pain coming from? Not really sure. What's up, YouTube? Man, it was a hot summer. But as the seasons change, there's still a lot of work to be done. So stay tapped in. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews. Out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm doing fine. All right, all right. Um, so are you homeless? Um, yeah. Okay, and so how old are you? I'm 22. 22? Mm-hmm. And so how long have you been homeless? Um... I want to say for about three months now. About three months? What was it that happened three months ago that caused you to become homeless? Um, it was just I had messed up. I burnt some bridges, basically. I burnt some bridges where I was staying. Who was you staying with? Um, I was staying with my cousin. It was in my grandmother's, uh, my late grandmother's house. Okay. And so your late grandmother, I guess, left the, the house? The too. house. Um, she actually left it to my auntie, but my auntie done went crazy. So, you know. And so your cousin's kind of... Yeah. The one that's running it, taking over everything. Yeah. What'd you do to burn bridges? Um, mm, I kind of stole some money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we keep it a bug on this channel, right? right. There, there's nothing more cathartic than just telling your truth, right? And, and not holding on to that stuff. That stuff weighs heavy. It's good to just let it go, right? Um, so, okay. So, you know, you stole some money. So, I guess you was in need of some money. Because, um, I mean, why'd you steal the money? Being petty, I was mad about something else. Did you feel like, did your cousin owe you just, money? No, I just kind of felt kind of lonely in the house. Um, I recently just went through a lot of deaths, so um, grief was on my back kind of heavy. Mm. And I just felt like I had no support there. Um, they, I kind of wasn't eating well either while being there, so it was just a lot of, you know. So what did you need, what did you want to do with the money? Oh, I went and got something to eat. I went and got something to drink, and I'm just chilling. Chill with the money. Okay, how much money was it? It was like half of his chicken for three hundred dollars. <laughs> you took three hundred dollars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you took half his check? Yeah. <laughs> and then went and just got food and I guess maybe a little bit of weed and alcohol. Yeah, chilled and stuff, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, well I mean I guess that would be a reason to kick somebody out. Alright, so okay. Um do you have any kids? No. No? Have you ever been married? No. No, okay. So let's just let's start from the beginning. So where are you from? from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Shout out to mm -hmm. ATL, man, all day long. What part of Atlanta are you from? Um, Simpson. Man, shout out that Simpson Road, that West Side all day. <laughs> you already know, man, West Side, best side. All right, so growing up in Atlanta, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Um, it's just really mom and grandma. Okay. Um, my dad, he popped up whenever he did, you know. I ain't okay. gonna discredit him. I remember him showing out for one Christmas. What Christmas was that? How old were you? I can't remember how old I was. Was I you was like young. a little a little kid type deal? Um, or like a teenager? I feel like I was like 11, 12. 11, 12, that middle school age? Yeah. Okay, so he showed out that Christmas. Yeah, that Christmas he showed out. <laughs> okay, but so he was, you know, he was there but not like yeah. 100% like yeah. maybe how you would have wanted him to be type deal. Okay, I get it. Um, and so growing up with mom, um, do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, um... On my dad's side, I have a couple of other siblings, but my mom has four kids and all. I'm her only girl, so it was three boys. Where are you in the girl. birth order? I'm the second oldest. Second oldest? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, um, you know, growing up, would you say that you had, like, a fairly normal childhood? Um, I did, actually. Um, I was the only girl, so I got a lot of um, light shining on, from, um, shined on me, not even just from my mom, but others surrounding the family. Okay, so you felt like uh, they kind of pampered um, you a little bit. Yeah, I was a little spoiled. Little um, I would do st 
stuff wrongly and I would still get those new J's that just dropped. Well, yeah, I mean, because, I mean, <laughs> you know, it, the, the decision to just steal $300 and then half of someone's check, there's a little bit of entitlement there, right? But we'll, um, we'll delve into that because I'm, I'm we're going to tap back into that. But let's let's finish our childhood first, right? Let's see what's going on. So, okay, so um, fairly normal childhood. Did you, like, go to high school and stuff like that? Yeah, I did, but it was kind of rocky. I was in and out of jail. In and out of jail? Yeah, juvenile and, jail. For what? Um, just... No. No, you know. <laughs> it was just like, like I don't know what it really was. A violation of probation. I was on probation. So, so what was you on probation for? I had to do a chair at my teacher. Oh, what? Wait a minute. So this is before the Montgomery. This is before the uh, the brawl in Alabama. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. this is this oh, is. Oh, this crazy because so, it was a fold up chair. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. So you were doing the fold up chair before the fold up chair. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. Why did you throw a chair at your teacher? Um, okay, so first of all, she wasn't even our like assigned teacher. She was like one of those substitutes or like whatever. Kind of filling yeah, in. Yeah, kind of filling in for the other teacher or whatever. Um, she usually worked for A team, and um, she just was being real bossy and stuff like that. And um, I was trying to do the work, but she was standing in my way, so I had asked her to move. It was kind of rudely, and she had kind of got rude with me, so I got rude back with her, and I called her to be word. Then she turned around and called my mom a B word, and that was around the time my mom had her first heart attack. So it was just kind of difficult for me. It was triggering me. for you. Yeah. So I, and we in science. So, you know, in science, they got them little fold-up chairs. So I politely get up. I just fold the chair, and I kind of threw it over there, and I ran over there and just started banging in with it. And um, that was actually my first time getting arrested. I didn't even know I was going to get arrested. Um, yeah, I was really surprised. What school did you go to? I went to Harper Archer Middle School. Oh, Lord. This was in middle school? Yeah, this was in middle school. Okay. Okay, so what was the highest grade that you got to? Um, the 11th, actually. 11th? Actually, yes. And so why would you drop out in the 11th? Um, okay, so I had kind of went to this, like, group home or whatever. And when I got out, I guess the... Okay, so we used to take the community living exam over there. And that was kind of like the end of the course test. But I guess those test results didn't correspond with the, with the test results back here in Atlanta, Georgia. So when I got back, they were like, we see where you taking the classes, but we don't see where you taking the end of the course test. So they were trying to kind of put me in ninth grade classes and I just wasn't feeling it. So I was like, yeah. So you just did basically yeah. because of your pride? Yeah. I guess so. I guess Ooh you can because of my pride. Ooh -wee. Okay, so I'm going to ask. I mean, right? I was 17 sitting in a classroom with a bunch of 14-year-olds well, learning stuff I had already learned. I passed this class already. Why am I here? Well, let me ask. Why did you end up having to go to the group home? Um, I was going through some mental health things, and my mom, um, I was like I said, I was in and out of juvenile jail. Right. And my mom thought it would be best for me to get some help. Um, they basically put it to her like they were going to help me, but I, I don't think it pretty, I don't think it helped you know, me. How long, did but, you, um, how long was you in the group home? It was like a mental health facility. So I was in there until they felt like I had straightened out. I right. can't even how remember long? how long I was, was there. Was it like a year? Um, I was a year gone. Or more than a year? In, oh, I was gone for a year and a month overall, but I had I was in jail before I even went to the group so, home. Okay. I and then it. the one that I graduated from wasn't even the first group home that I had went to. Why not? They kicked me out of the first group. <laughs> Why? Um, just being belligerent, wasn't listening. You okay, know, so let's 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 tap in all this. So real quick, so I'm gonna ask, right? Um, did anything ever happen to you when you was younger? Um, like any type of sexual assault? Or yeah, like that? yeah, it did. What happened? Um, cousin, one time. Hmm. How old were you? I was. I had to be like eight. Eight. And, and how then, old was your cousin? As I got older. Um, in the neighborhood, it was this one guy. He recurrently did it. So. He recurrently like took it from you. Yeah. How old? Okay. How old were you when? when okay. So when you was eight, how old was your cousin? I don't know how old Greg is. Was he like a few years older than you? He had to be late teens, early twenties. When he took it from you when you was eight? Yeah. And so, did you ever tell anybody that that happened? I told my mom years later. And I don't, I don't know if she believed me before she passed or whatnot, but I actually had lost all memory of it, and I started having dreams about it. Mm. So that's what. And so, did, did he go as far as like penetrating you? 
Yeah, I believe it was. So it was, was the full um, thing. Anal. anal? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, and, it was and then the guy in the neighborhood, how old were you when that stuff was happening? I was like 12. 12? Yeah. And so you say it happened repeatedly, like yeah. multiple times? I want to say 12. The last time he did it, I was probably like 13 going on 14. But I don't know. He just kind of disappeared. And I was like, thank God. So how would this go down? Like, would you just be um, walking? I would be and out late at night with my friends. And, um, my Okay, so they all stayed on one end and I stayed on the other end of Simpson. So I would have to walk home. Right, all the way down. Down Simpson, Simpson by myself. And um, that's that's he would chase me down. He would hawk me down. Yeah. He would hawk you down? Yeah. And it, like, t tell me, like, what would happen? Like, he hawk you down? What is he, like, pin you down or something? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, seriously? One time seriously? he dragged me into a car. Yeah. So, How many times did this happen? I want to say, like, five times. At any point, did you just, like, give up and say, well, let me just let him do it type deal? Cause, no. So you fought every time? Every time. <laughs> yes, even the first time when I didn't even really know what was going on. Because I actually was talking to him. We was exchanging words, and I thought he was a cool person, but it just went totally wrong by the end of the night. And so, did you ever tell anybody that this was happening? Yeah, I told my friends, and then I had found out that he had attacked one of the other, one of my other friends. So he was well. a serial rapist. Yeah. And you didn't tell the authorities or your mom or anybody. Well, my counselor. You told your counselor at school. No, I had a. You had uh, a, a court a, a mental, okay, counselor. Court. And so when you told her, what happened? They just asked me a bunch of questions. And nothing else happened after that? Not that I could recall. How did that make you feel? Um, I don't, I really didn't care about much of nothing. Well, now that you look back on it, now that you're older, in hindsight, how does that make you feel? Like, dang, is there really not no help out here for, you know, young black women that are going through things that they don't even know what they're going through and how to even express it? And, you know, I just feel like I wish the help was actually some help because the help nowadays don't be help. And so, huh. So, I mean, after like the second or third time, what would be your feelings when you saw the guy run get run get the fuck on go as far as you can go to the first person house you know did you ever get and away knock from on their him? door i did actually i got away from him a couple of times actually wow and was this guy like significantly older was he like somewhere like a mm, young adult i want to say he was a young adult he was he was a young adult he was pretty um athletic tall yeah are you serious? Yeah. And he wasn't a bad looking dude, so I don't understand why he was out here doing that. Yeah, you would have gave it to him anyway, huh? I, the, the first time we was talking, we was we was chilling. You <laughs> so know? you was you was about to maybe do something with him. You feel me? But he was I don't know. He I guess he liked the excitement of that. I don't know. I don't know what it was, what his kinks are, or whatever. What do you think those incidents, what what effect do you think they had on you? Um I think it had a, a very bad effect on me when it came to, like, sexually. For a minute, I thought it was love. You know, sex was love or whatnot. Um, I grew up and did a lot of things sexual that I wish I could take back, but, you know. Well, like what? Um, I don't have sex for cash and stuff like that before, so. Well, I mean, and, and I, I get that. Like, we, we hear a lot of that on here, right? Yeah. What age was the first time you did that? I was about 17. 17? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, like how much would you be charging these guys at 17? Uh, some dude walked up on me when I was 17 and he was like, um, I'll give you $200 if you woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. And I was like, okay. And it kind of went from there and I was like, oh, okay, this fast money. I went and got my hair done. I, was, I thought <laughs> I was the shit. <laughs> so, I mean, at the height of it, right? At, when you was doing it the most, would you be doing multiple guys in the day type deal? Or? Yeah. And so, like, how many? I could say it would be, like, six. Six guys seven, in a day? Yeah. And how much would they be averaging paying you? Uh, Between, like, I think the lowest, maybe, like, 80. Okay. So, she's making, you know, five, six hundred bucks a day. 
at one point. Yeah, what I was you doing with that money? Um, I was hotel living it. Okay, yeah, that's, um, that's very weed, expensive. Drinking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. eating, all those buying things clothes, are getting expensive. my nails done, toes and stuff done. Did you ever have like a boyfriend? Um, at one point I did have a boyfriend. Yeah. At what age? Um, I was 17. Me and him broke up right before I turned 18. So you was still doing that type of work even when yeah. you had a boyfriend? Yeah. Did he know that? Yeah, he knew. So was he like your pimp? No. Okay, no. so you wasn't giving him the money. No. I would spend money on him. Okay, but and so he but, was cool with you having sex with older yeah. other guys and stuff like that? Yeah. I guess. I mean, he was there. Was he around the same age as you? Um, well, he, he was, was like older. 23. Okay, so he was a few years older. Wow. Why'd y'all break up? Um, he used to put his hands on me. So he was abusive? Yeah, he would get he he would get high off drugs and put his hands on me. Drugs that I ain't even do. So I was like, hell no. So, do you think that when he would get high, maybe some of his true feelings about what you was doing would be coming out and he would be kind of reacting to that? So maybe um, he like resented the fact that no, you were having such a No, I just guys? think he's been a woman beater, you know, and that's just what he does. He gets high and, and every little thing you do pisses him off and he just acts in rage. I don't think he had a problem with nothing I did because even when he would get high he would be like okay is you working tonight da, 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 da. <laughs> so, you know, and I actually had a job at the time too as well so I would go to work come back and yeah, I would decide if I wanted, wanted to. to do that right yeah okay okay y'all was hotel living at that point yeah okay 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 huh what other stuff did you do sexually that you feel like you wouldn't have done had that stuff not happened just just like it's basically sleeping around like just you know i was very kind of being active. promiscuous yeah okay 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 i get that i get that um huh man so at this point um you know you stay he's living with the friend and it's been a few months so okay first and foremost let's let me let me <laughs> let me say this real quick right mm -hmm. so obviously you have like a problem with authority and stuff like that um when? I was I was um I was diagnosed with ODD and that's exactly what it means oppositional defiance disorder like you have a problem with authority. I get it I get it and so you know I mean <laughs> do you ever see yourself as not having that problem because I mean we all have to grow um, up at some point. Yes, actually um since my mother has died I've humbled myself a lot I feel like um I still got a lot of progress to make but I've humbled myself. A lot. Um, I had a little backtrack, you know, when I did what I did. A couple months, they got me put out. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your mom. How long ago did she pass? She passed in 2021, December 2021. I'm sorry to hear about that. So, yeah. Um, but um, my mom always bonded me out of jail, okay? I never paid, made it past intake. Like, adult jail. Juvenile it. jail, you can't get bonded out. Right, juvenile jail. right. So, when you're going there, you're going in there. But... Adult jail, I ain't never made it past intake. But why do you have to go to jail in the first place? Because I got a problem with authority. The police tell me to shut up, and I tell them to shut the fuck up. Like, but, don't tell me to shut up. But here's the thing. You know that you don't have to be that way, right? I know. That's what I'm saying. I've humbled myself a lot. I really have. <laughs> I mean, I can I can tell that you probably have just because you did this interview. Yeah, I've right? humbled myself If you was kind of feeling yourself and all this other stuff, you probably wouldn't have agreed to do the interview in the first place. So I'll say that, and you're very transparent about the things that have happened. So I'll definitely give you all that credit. Um, but at 22, right, mm -hmm. um, we find ourselves in this position in life. Um, we're staying at a friend's when we can type deal. So when we can't stay with the friend, where, where are we staying? Are we just um, outside at that point? Yeah. So you've had to sleep outside um, some yeah, nights? Yeah, I've, 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 I ain't going to say sleep because I don't be sleeping. I okay, but here. you stay outside. Um, just kind of I've be up stayed all night. in front of Gary Hound before. I've stayed in front of um, Gateway before, but um, I don't really like those um, areas. They're kind of sketchy. They're very sketchy. Um, They're super sketchy. Yeah. Right, and so that that's my point. Is like, you know, despite your problems with authority, I can tell that on the inside you're actually a really sweet girl. Yeah. Right. A at the core of you. Right. Yeah. And so, why? You know, is there any possibility we can make up with our cousin and it is, but um, pay him the money back first and foremost? Yeah, 
No, it's de- <laughs> I could definitely probably go back there. Um, my part is just too big. And uh, like I said before, everything was happening. I wasn't mentally feeling well being there. Like, I just was, you know. What and was, I just what felt was, like. What was bothering you mentally? Um, I felt alone, you know, in a house full of people. I felt Why? like. I don't. I don't know. I just did. Like, I just didn't feel the love. I didn't feel the energy. Um, I wasn't eating well, and no one really cared. You know, I would be sitting in my room crying my eyes out. What would you no be crying really, about? Honestly, I don't know. Well, that's that's what we got to figure out, because whatever that is, whatever those pain points are, it's going to stay there. It's not going to go away until you process them and work your way through it. You can't hide from it. You can't run from it. You can't do enough drugs, alcohol to cover it up. I I can tell you that right now. So let's try to figure this out. What, where's the pain coming from? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Um, but I was, um, I've been going over here to Tim Park place and um, I'm taking a couple groups. I'm gonna get. A, I'm supposed to be getting evaluated today at two. Okay. So that's what I was actually over Waiting this for. way for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get my life together. I don't want to be like this forever. Um, I just wasn't feeling mentally well at home. You know, I was I on the verge it. of like really hurting myself. A mental myself. breakdown. It, yeah. sounds, it sounds like. Yeah. So <sighs> I just. I couldn't bear being there anymore. I had tried filling my time with stuff. You know, hanging out with friends. And um, that didn't really work because then me and my brother had got into it about my friends always being there. So um, that that had happened. And so this is your brother that you stole the money from? Or you no. say your cousin, right? It was. It's in my cousin's name, but it's my brother's money. Okay, okay. But not the brother that I got into it with. Like I told you, my mother had four kids. Yeah. <sighs> and so you say your friends used to be over there a lot? Yeah, and... Um, my brother didn't like that, I guess, because they were, they were rowdy. They were fun. They were loud. You know, some just passed the time. <laughs> Funny. So y'all just a good time, huh? Yeah. Just a little turn up situation But all he the time. likes to sleep. Okay, so he was trying to relax, and he probably has to work, pay bills, and do things like that. So he's got to get his sleep and his rest, and you guys was over there, and, you know, just kind of enjoying life, and um, he's like, hey, you know, cut it out. <laughs> I get that. I get that. All right, well, listen, miss, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. Um, If anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Um, Yeah, social media, cash app, all that. What you got? Um, I got Instagram. What is it? Um, Missing Miko. Miko spelled M-E-K-O. And Missing, you know, like Okay, Missing missing Miko. Um, And my cash app is... C E C E two two O three. It should say C C J J. Okay. So C C E C E two two O three. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Well, like I say, Miss, we really appreciate you, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best. All right. All right. Thank you. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. You too. All right. <laughs>